Thank you, Bajir, for the introduction. And let's get straight down to it. You know, welcome to the wonderful game of bridge. Here we go. It's a card game. Um, you can play bridge at any age. You could be eight. You could be 88. I've taught people in their 80s before. I've taught children before. Um, it's a very social game. It's a lot of fun, played by millions of people around the world. Um, it's a game of four players. That's what makes it so social. So, you know, you sit down with a square table, north and south, play against east and west. So it's 100% a partnership game, and you do play with four people round the table. And that table could be a virtual table online. Equally as easily, it could be a real table. You're playing in your own home or at a bridge club or wherever. Good. One person deals the cards. Yep, face down. That's how we get the game started. And here are some celebrities who I've called on today to help me out. You've got George Clooney. He's playing bridge with Anne Widdicom, a fairly unlikely partnership. And Brad Pitt is playing with Julia Roberts today, uh, East West. I'm not sure if they play bridge or not, but they're here to help me out. But that's, you know, how the partnerships would, uh, would, would look. Yeah, just you can register for free. You know, if you've got any friends who still like to join us for next week uh, on that link there, they can register and catch up the first lesson in replay and then join us live at <laughs> this time next week for lesson two. There are 52 <coughs> cards in a pack. Let's have the first question. So in all of my bridge courses online, uh, it's very interactive. I'm always asking you questions to involve you, to immerse you in the class. So how many cards does each player get? OK, there's 52 in this pack. Some of you might never have played cards before. Um, and remember, we're dealing about to four people. Who's first? Ian is first. Well done, Ian. Followed by Jum. I can read the columns, the comments down the left-hand side of my page now. Francis and Lynn. We've got an international field today. We've got people in Malaysia, South Africa, Mallorca, a lot from England, of course. I'll just give you a moment. A few of you have come in with answers. Let's just wait for a few more. There might be a slight delay, but there are 52 cards. And even if you get the wrong answer today, it doesn't matter. You know, it's good fun. Just put in an answer and you will learn from your mistakes. Tim Moore saying hi. So we've got 52 cards. I'm dealing them out one at a time. I mean, literally like this. One for you, one for you, one for you. So really, it's just 52 divided by four. Peter, Bavani, you've all come up with the right answer. It's 13, yeah. There you go, there's 13 cards. Let's move on to the answer. Aces are always high, yeah, not like in poker, where sometimes they're low. Aces are always the highest card, followed by the king, queen, jack, etc. And the four suits in a pack of cards. Yep, there they are. Spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs. There are 13 of each. You've got 13 spades, 13 hearts, 13 diamonds and 13 clubs. Let's start off by playing a game of whist. So whist is a precursor to the game of bridge. Uh, it's very popular in the 80s, often played in village halls and, and, ch and churches and similar places. Um, it's a simplified version of bridge, but it's not as fun, really. That's why we, nearly everyone plays bridge now as opposed to whist. And there are three things to remind you of in the 80s. You've got George Michael, of course, an icon, Margaret Thatcher. And you've got that. I don't actually recognize that, uh, that block at the end. Uh, it looks like it might be something to do with uh, technology. Uh, but there you go. There are three things that were popular in the 80s. You might like me. Yeah, what is that thing at the end? That kind of electronic looking block. Or the brick, as it was once known, wasn't it? Right. So let's play some with. Mainly today we're playing whist. Yeah. Bridge has a game of two halves. The second half is whist-like. The first half is to do with the bidding, the auction. That comes next week. OK, so both in Whist and Bridge, you have your 13 cards like that. And to get the game going, the person to the left of the dealer leads their lowest card. Let's say it's the two yeah, from their longest suit. OK, that's how you get the game started. 
better really not to lead out aces. I always say this to my beginners. Aces will certainly win because they're the highest card, but keep them back for taking the opponent's kings and queens. Yeah, as a beginner, I'm not, I know I was the same. Very tempting to want to play out your winning cards early, but actually keep them back for later. They won't run away. Okay, once all four players have played a card, so we're all playing one <clears throat> face up on the table, kind of like that. There will be four cards there. Let me just get them out. There we go. There'll be four cards. And that is known as a trick. Okay, so there's a few new words we're going to learn today to do with bridge and whist. Tricks. A trick is four cards. Okay. And you see each opponent has contributed one. The Queen of Spades has won it. Is there a mnemonic to remember the suit order? I'm just reading Sandra's um, uh, message. And no, Sandra, but we'll come on to that later. Yeah, we'll come on to it later. Um, good. So there's 13 tricks available. That will be all 52 cards. So there's 13 of these. So if your side wins seven tricks, then the opposition can only make six. You've won the game. What we're going to do now is go over to BBA, Bridge Base Online, which is the most popular way of playing bridge online in the world. It's an American website. Tens of thousands of people play at the same time every day. And we're going to pay that a visit now. So let's go on to that. Bajir is just going to line it up for us. There you go. Thank you, Bajir. And let me just, oh, it's logged us out. So I'll just log us back in again. There we go. Just give me a second. Uh, da -da. So this is where we actually play our bridge online, most people. There are other sites as well, but this is the main one, one we use for teaching, and I would say the best one. There's so many options, and most of it's free on here. Let's start loading this particular hand to the table. And there it is. Okay. Well, online, you see, and you can play bridge equally as well online as, you know, face to face around a, a real table with real people. Um, the cards are dealt for you. Yeah, they're all put in order. So which is great, isn't it? That's why many people prefer online for bridge. Um, I'm just going to get the game started with the bidding. That comes next week. So don't worry at all about what I'm doing. Right. So that's the first half of the game. Very quickly. It went in a flash. That's next week. We don't want to do too much too soon. Um, now, to get the game going, uh, the person to the left makes the opening lead. So nearly always online, the way I teach will be the person to the left, which will be west. Okay, So north is up there, east, south is down there with the ace of diamonds, west has got the ace of spades. So if I told you, I think I have just have told you just briefly, you lead the lowest card from the longest suit, what would the lead be, everyone, as west? And this is no trumps, by the way, for those who've done trumps before. <laughs> We're just playing out the cards. Trumps is a word we'll look at later. But for those who've played a little bit before, we're playing without trumps. Hi, BP. So what would you lead, everyone? I'm just waiting for the... Looking at the West Ham, how many Ace of Spades and the King of Hearts? And it's the lowest card from the longer suit. Anne and Jim... Hi, Sandra, Francis. We we'll even get to see pictures of you as well. That's nice. Oh, oh, there's a kingfisher. Hello, Sandy. <laughs> yes, let's not wait around too long. Giving you a moment. But a big hello if you're watching in replay as well. You're very much part of our class. People who can't join us live this morning, uh, you can watch in replay at any time to suit yourself. So, yes, let's play the two of spades. And it won't let me click anywhere else, by the way, online. It won't let me play a card from north or east. It has to be from west. In real life, some people lead out of turn. Yeah. Okay, so we, our mission, if we choose to accept it, everyone, and we are playing this hand together, is to try and make seven tricks. All right? If we make seven, the opposition can only make six. That's 13 tricks. That's the maximum. So if I told you, here are some little bits of advice. Second player play low. And generally, third player plays high. 
So which card would we play from the third player now? Jack, six, or three of spades. And we must follow suit. I mean, this comes up in the slides in a second, actually. But the golden rule at the moment is you have to follow suit. And the good news is online, it won't let you play a heart or a club or a diamond. In real life, sometimes make people make a mistake. So we have to play spades here. Jack of spades from third player. And I'm just about to win it. Notice I'm playing all four hands here. Yeah, normally, of course, yeah, th these are robots, uh, the other three players. So I'm playing the cards for them, normally in whist or bridge. Um, yeah, you'd have real people playing those cards for them. But I'm actually able to click on everything. So, but we collectively, everyone, are south, all right? So we've just won a trick. Denoted here to the left, you can see it with the one which is vertically like that. Okay, that's to us. One trick to us. If you lose a trick, put it down. So lay down in defeat, up in victory. Goody good. Now, here's a question for you. Ask the audience. Which card should I play now, do you think? Or which suit? Should I play another spade? A heart? A club? Or a diamond? Four suits to choose from. Which suit do you think, looking at both hands, is going to be most lucrative? And in real life, I know that for teaching purposes, you, we, all, we look at all four hands, and this would be the same for my improver classes. Uh, oh, and we have to play from south, by the way, where the gold bar is. It won't let us play from anywhere else. It won't let us play from west, east, or north, south, sorry, or north. We have to play from south, everyone, look. So let me play any of those 12 cards. So I'm clicking on them now. Denoted by the gold bar. That's where we play from. Let's have a look at your answers. Well, Jim's playing a club, as is Francis, Ian, Lynn, Jum and Gourmet. Yes, I, well done, actually. A club is the right thing to do. Second player, play low. Third player, play high. Fourth player is East. They try and win the trick. Okay. So let's just recap. The Queen of Clubs has been taken by the Ace. I'm not bothered. I've just lost a trick. But remember, I can lose up to six. It's good practice in bridge. I mean, this is actually the second half of the game of bridge now. Uh, to return partner suit which was a spade, they led a spade, so we return one. Third player play high. And East-West have won another trick. They're the opposition. And remember, in a real game of bridge, just to be clear, I would see the North hand and the South hand. I wouldn't see the East-West cards. They'd be hidden, look. Yeah. East and West cards would be hidden like that or just blanked out here. There you go, I'll do it one more time. There's me. Um, right, it's actually good practice for West to return a spade. You'll see why at the very end, even though they know it's going to lose to the Queen. So that gives me a trick. And I can't follow suit now, so I must discard a low card, all right? But do you see now, if West ever gets back in, the eight... And the five of spades are winning cards. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I've just won the queen of spades. What am I going to play next, do you think, from the from north? A heart, a club, or a diamond? The lead is with north, a hand with the ace of hearts. A few more hellos. Hello, Lucy. Anne's with us. Jum, BP. Do, do try and use the chat box, by the way, uh, if you can. I know some of you would be too busy concentrating. And this lesson is available in replay. Good morning, Jim. Yes, the clubs are winners. 
you know, I've been playing bridge on and off 40 years, not consecutively, but um, as soon as you play bridge for a little while, you remember which cards have gone. I remember that the ace of clubs and the queen of clubs have gone. So the king is a winner. As is the jack of clubs. Must follow suit if you can. It's the only golden rule at the moment, really. And the ten of clubs. Is a winner. So things are going quite well for us. It's a joint effort, this, remember. Me and you. We've made five tricks, look, to the left, where it says 1NT by South. That stands for no trump, by the way. <coughs> We've got five tricks and the opposition have got two. What do you think we're going to do next? <coughs> <coughs> we're in our own hand, South, look, where the gold bar is. Oh, hello, Jane Terry. It's finally managed to join us. That's fine, Jane. You can watch the first 20 minutes in replay. Yes. Be the best. We need two more tricks, basically, to be the winners. Just one or two of you might have. Yes, yeah, getting online for the first time can be a bit tricky always. Like all these technology things, once you've done it once or twice, it's quite easy. Well, I think we can go for gold now. Remember Henry Keller's game show, <laughs> going for gold? So we can take the Ace of Diamonds. That's another trick. And we can, let's take the Ace of Hearts. If we can see the finish line, let's go for it. So our trick total is now up to seven. We can relax. Yep, there's me relaxing. Because the opposition can only make six. We will play out the rest of the cards. It's only polite to do so. Third player play high. Now, West has got the lead back again, denoted by the gold bar. And those two spades are winners. Yeah what we call length winners in bridge. So they play the eight of spades and the five of spades. So two tricks for the opposition. And finally, they make the last one with the king of diamonds. So you're seeing online, it's actually, that's why some people prefer playing bridge online. You know, they don't play face-to-face -face anymore or they sit around the room with an iPad. You know, with their friends in the same room. Uh, some people do that. But generally, most play from their own home online. And look, it's all there for you. Don't worry about the score. That comes in a few weeks' time. We've made seven tricks. We can celebrate. There you go. Let's have a drink to celebrate. It's only water. Don't worry. Um, what more can I say at the moment? We're just looking at a few basic principles of card play. And this is the second half of the game of bridge. The first half comes next week, um, deciding what trumps are, etc. But I think you can see how the cards play out there. There's 13 cards each. You must follow suit. Would it have made a difference if you played the heart for the diamond? No. Sandra, you could have played the ace of hearts and then the ace of diamonds. A good question from Sandra. Um, let's go back, Bajir, to the slideshow, shall we? So Bajir is going to take us back to the slides. And there we go. We'll come back to BBO later. As I said to you just then, both in Wist and Bridge, uh, second player plays low most of the time. Third player plays high most of the time. They're guidelines. You know, there will be exceptions. But for the moment, we're sticking to those. Yes, yeah, so we do have the odd question. Do answer it in the chat box. Why does one no trump you mean seven tricks, uh, BB? Ah, good question from BP. And I always say this when I teach beginners, which is once a year now online. I have been teaching beginners for 25 years. Uh, BP, very simple answer. That, that comes next week. Yeah, I can't tell you now. It'll be too complex. But I'm glad you're thinking out of the box. Yeah, the bidding bit, the one, the one NT is all to do with the bidding. That's the first half of the game of bridge. That all comes next week. We're just concentrating at the moment on the play of the cards. 
there's that golden rule. And I like to bring my captions to life online. <clears throat> so there's a load of gold bullion. We have uh, do try and have a few captions and images in our slides as well. Must follow suit. If you can't, then you throw a low card from another suit. Can we introduce a new word? We've had a new word, trick. Here's a new word for you. And some of you will have played bridge in the distant past. I know you will. At school, university, whatever. Um, many of you won't have played bridge at all. So Trump says, it's not a plural of a former US president, but it's a technical term in bridge. For example, if hearts are trumps, that's like the master suit. Okay, so the more hearts your partnership has, the better. Yeah, it'd be unusual for you to have 13 hearts, but if you have, say, nine or 10 hearts between you, that's pretty good news. Okay. What that means is, if you or your partner run out of a suit, then play a heart. Where is it gone? There we go. That trick will automatically become yours. So, for example, if someone played out the ace of clubs and you'd run out of clubs and had a heart, play a heart and that trick becomes yours. However, if two players have run out of a suit, say one player plays the two of hearts, then the next player, the opponent, could over-trump it with the eight of hearts. That trick would become there. So that is a scenario that happens as well if two players have run out of a suit. But you wouldn't be allowed to use trumps unless you've run out of a suit. And certainly the computer wouldn't let you uh, online. New word for you there, trumps. We'll be talking a lot about trumps over the coming weeks. For the moment, though, let's go back to hand two on BBO. And really, what we're going to do at the end of this lesson, we're going to get you playing online as well. Uh, it's a thing called Mini Bridge. Right, let me just bring up the... There we go. Hand number two. One I prepared earlier. Okay. And let me just do the first bit for you. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing at all, but this is the first game of Bridge. I'm just going to do this to get the game started. So don't, uh, we can ask questions about it, but I won't tell you because it all happens next week. So we're playing with hearts as trumps. That's all you need to know, okay? And we need to make at least seven tricks. Right, so um, we, south is going to be the place to have. The opening lead comes to the left, doesn't it? What would you lead? Let's ask you, ask the audience. What would you lead with the West hand, everyone? The hand with the Ace of Spades and the King of Clubs. I like to keep things nice and simple at this stage. Of course, there'll be more we need to learn over the coming weeks and months. Let's just ask the chat box. Well, it's eight tricks, but remember, you know, it's really it's beginner bridge here, so I just want them to make you know, seven or more. Because we haven't covered bidding yet. Uh, yes, yeah, so we leave the lowest card from the longest suit. Good. The game is now started. I'm controlling all four hands. In reality, if we're playing, you know, out of a, a teaching classroom, I would just be controlling south and north. East-west would be opponents, either robots or humans. Second player, play low. Third player plays what, everyone? Ace, queen, or four, do you think? Just waiting for the... I do have... I can see all your comments down the left-hand side. Yes, do if you're not using the chat box. Tap in hello or something, where you're from. And of course, there will be many unanswered questions. Why was I bidding two hearts? That comes next week. I know some of you have played before. But we assume no knowledge. Yeah, was third player play high? So what's wrong with playing the ace? 
when I say high, I mean it. Yeah, as high as you can. Okay. Remember, you can't see. I think it's quite important if you're east or west and you're playing a proper game of bridge, the only cards you can see are your own and the north cards. By the way, the north cards are always laid down. We're going to look at that in a second with the slides and the slide share. But uh, if this was a real game of bridge, everyone would see the north hands, but those playing east and west only see their own 13 cards. They don't see their partner's cards and they don't see south's cards. They're hidden. But the north hand is available to see to everyone. Right. Continue with a club, why not? And another club. Okay, so we're getting on quite nicely. The opposition have made two tricks, that's fine. Which card do we play now as south, everyone? Denoted by the gold bar. Which card do we play as south? Just a reminder that hearts are trumps. Next week, we decide, we look at how we decide whether hearts are trumps or clubs or diamonds or spades. Yes, Jung and Lynn and Anne and Jane, Sandy, Ian. Yes, we've run out of clubs, so we can trump it. Yes, that four of hearts is a master card, if you like. Yeah, that trick has become ours. Good. So that's one to us. Now, I haven't told you this yet, but normally when you play in trump, the first hand we played without trumps, no trumps. The second hand we're playing with hearts. I haven't told you this, but generally, uh, most of the time when you play with trumps, the idea is to draw the opponent's trumps out. Okay. So I'm going to count the trumps for you. Don't worry, you don't have to at this stage. We had nine between us. Well, I will ask you, we had nine between us. How many of the opponents got? Next question. So we had nine, didn't we, between north and south. Remember, north and south are playing together. North's cars would always be exposed to the other three players. How many of the opponents got? It's pretty simple maths, really. I mean, some people think you have to be really clever to play bridge. Well, certainly... <laughs> certainly uh, <laughs> I'm not but I can count to 13 so often say that's the only thing I really need to do in my job is count to 13 so we've got 9 there are 13 cards in hearts yes the opponents have 4 hearts I'm hoping that they divide 2 and 2 today let's go so we should draw out the trumps here so I'm going to start with the ace of hearts a high one. And I'm going to play a low one towards the queen. Don't make the mistake here of putting in the nine or something. That loses to the jack. Look, I can undo, look, the power of the internet. So, yeah, if you can play high ones, then do so. Because this would be totally unnecessary here to lose a trick. Ah, so that's good news. The opponents have four hearts and they follow twice. Yeah. Trumps are drawn. And the reason we draw trumps, I think you'd be saying out there, those in replay, hello again to you. How are you getting on? Um, some of you are saying, you know, how is he counting the trumps? Well, that just comes with practice. Okay. So we've taken out the trumps. What do we do next? Do we continue with the trumps? Do we play spades or diamonds? What do you think is best now? But no, what I, what I meant to tell you was the reason we draw trumps is because now we can play out our winners knowing that the opponents won't trump us. That is the reason why we generally draw trumps. Because then we don't have to worry about the opponent's trumps. We can then talk about our winners. Now, let's have a look at the chat box. Uh, Lynn and Lucy are thinking we play diamonds. Oh, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. A bit corny, that one. 
Francis Diamonds. Yogi is on gourmet. Yogi is on spades. I think diamonds are the most fruitful here, you know, because we're just missing the ace. Yeah. Let's play a diamond. Second player play low. Third player play high. The thing is, once the ace of diamonds has gone, third player play high. The jack and ten are winners, aren't they? We're following, some of you will have noticed this already, a lose to win strategy here. Yeah, we don't mind losing uh, tricks in bridge to win tricks later in the same suit. It's what Jeremy Clarkson couldn't understand when he tried to learn bridge. Lose to win. He likened it to John Prescott in the 80s say, on the motorways. He's saying you get there quicker if you drive slower. He, he couldn't really get that. Anyway, uh, so ace of dime. Let's say they come back a spade. Third player play high. And let's say another spade. Winning with a king of spades, and now we can enjoy the fruit of our labours. The jack of diamonds is a winner. There we go. Could have played the ten, Lynn. Really doesn't make too much difference here. Uh, we are going to make the rest of the trick, so look. Queen of spades is a winner. And we've got two winning trumps. So we're just finishing off now. And at the end of the day, everyone, we, because it was a joint effort, it's your idea, you know, to, to draw trumps. We've made nine tricks. Don't worry about the score, but we were definitely the winners there, North South. The opponents only made four. But the key to our success, well, we had really nice trumps in hearts, didn't we? We had nine of them, and we had the ace, king, queen. That was great. And we had quite good cards elsewhere in diamonds and spades. But just at this very early stage, you know, just beginning to see how the cards work. You won't really see how they work until you either have, you know, until you're playing the cards yourself, either having the cards in your hand or having your cards at the control of your mouse when you play online. Hopefully, you'll be practicing mini bridge when we tell you how to after, after the lesson. Uh, Bajir, thank you. So we won that hand in hearts. I think you just begin to see how important trumps are. We were able to play the four of hearts and, uh, and make that trick ours, weren't we, when we ran out of clubs. Uh, Bajir, shall we go back to the slides? Please, he's taking us back to the slides, which is good. There we go. You will have seen in the hands I just played that picture cards, aces, kings, queens, and jacks, they're known as honor cards in bridge, honors, are very useful. They win tricks. Okay. Aces being the most useful, followed by kings, etc. They're so important in bridge. We've moved away from whist now, really bye-bye. Uh, but into bridge, we allocate points. So when you pick up your hand for the first time, you allocate points. So how many for an ace? Well, four points for an ace, three for a king. Two for a queen. And over to you. How many for a jack, do you think? Now, hi, Pamela. Nice to see you in the chat box. Even if you've never played bridge before, card games, can you hazard an educated guess how many points for a jack? And even if you've never used the chat box before, have a go. Because I can see all the answers down here towards the left of my screen. Uh, Lynn's got a good question. Lynn Mayer, she was asking, do you have to play trumps if you run out of the suit? Answer's no, Lynn. Yeah, you can. Yeah, good question from Lynn. No, you could discard. You don't have to trump at all, Lynn. No, it's your choice. Generally, you do, but you don't have to. Hope that answers that one. Well, let's have a look at the answer. I think it's going to come as no surprise. It's one point. Four, three, two, one. Good. 
Well, I want to keep you on our toes this morning because bridge is very good for the brain. You know, it does keep your brain going. It's very social. Um, how many points are there in a pack of cards? So in this pack I've got here, how many points are there in total? So that's the next question for you. Just keep your brain going. Yeah, particularly you need to know how many there are. It's not vital to the game, but let's just have a look to see how many of you can work that one out. Oh, hi, Timmer. He's Timmer's first in, followed by Sandy and Pamela. Have a go. How many points are there in all four suits? So spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. You see in the heart suit there, uh, there's 10 points, aren't there? Four, three, two, one. <clears throat> well, you've all had a pretty good go. Let's have a look at the answer. It'll come as no surprise, maybe. It's 40. Yeah, 10 points in each suit, and there's four suits. There's 40 points in a pack. So, you know, if you've got an average hand, if I pick up my hand of 13 cards, average would be 10 points. A really good hand in bridge, 20 points or more. Yeah, that's a pretty amazing hand. No points, that's a lousy hand. Yeah, you're getting the picture. Let's practice counting our points, you know, because it is early, very early days. How many points have we got there, everyone? So we've just picked up that hand, 13 cards. We've sorted them. I thought I told you that, but when we pick up our hands with real cards, we do have to sort them. We have to do a bit of work. Here's what I did earlier. Generally, black, red, black, red, and in order, look. I put the cards in order. Black, red, black, red. Or red, black, red, black, so the suits stand out. And of course, you keep your cards. So four for an ace, three for a king. So we've got six points in clubs. Ace of hearts is 10. King is 13. We've got 14 points, as everyone in the chat box has said. Those watching in replay, did you count to 14 as well? Easy to miscount your points when you first start. Good. So that's just a little exercise counting points. Now, in Bridge, we actually choose trumps ourselves by this code called the bidding. That's next week. But if it was your choice here, and this is an exercise we always do with beginners, which suit would you like as trumps? Okay, if you were given the choice between you and your partner, which suits, spades, hearts, clubs, or diamonds? And I'm going to give you a clue, or as I quite often use in my class, the get out of jail free card. So I wouldn't want to see you in bridge prison. In fact, you don't get in bridge prison um, for the first six months. You're exempt. Um, <laughs> but it's the number of trumps. Let me tell you, it's not the quality of the trumps. It's the number you've got, combined number. Because let's face it, you know, the two of spades could bring down the ace of hearts or the ace of diamonds. So it's the combined number of trumps, which is best. And actually, most of the chat box are coming in with spades, even before the clue. Because we've got, you might be tempted to say hearts because you've got such nice ones, but you've only got six hearts. Okay, you've actually got eight spades between you. So I would choose spades there if I had the choice. Yeah, but bridge would be a very easy game if you just laid your cards face up like this and decided. Not, not half as much fun. I think a lot of the fun about learning bridge, it's not an easy game to learn. No, no one would tell you that. But we learn step by step. You might think I'm going quite quickly, but actually I'm going pretty slowly compared to other bridge teachers. And we do learn quite a lot in the first lesson or two. But then we consolidate in the coming weeks. Yeah. So there is quite a lot in those first two lessons, especially as you're not playing the cards yourself at the moment. Although hopefully you'll get a little hang of it in the mini bridge. And there you go. That's the answer, everyone. Spades. As I've just said, the number of trumps is better than the quality of the trumps. That's the point I'm trying to make there. Uh, 
Okay, now we're going to introduce another new word for you, which again will become familiar over the coming weeks. We've learned tricks. We've learned trumps. And all of these are in the worksheet that Bashir emailed to you earlier to download. So that's part of the free package. You get two sheets of my notes, which are clearly explaining what we've been talking about today for you to look at and digest. Um, dummy is the next word. So when you have the opening lead, it comes from the left, from west, yeah, whatever it is, face up. Then north puts down their cards into columns. If I was playing face-to-face -face bridge, kind of a bit like that. Clubs for everyone to see on the bridge table like that. Diamonds, spades, and hearts. And they become known as the dummy, the north hand here. Everyone sees their cards, all right? And plays no further part in the game. They can go and get a cup of tea. They could go to the loo. Mostly they just stay there and observe the game. But they're not allowed to say anything. No, they can't be bossy and start telling South which cards to play. That would be bad etiquette. And I say, they're known as dummy for obvious reasons. It's nothing personal. Good. So that's what happens. This is the second half of the game of bridge, remember, once we've decided what trumps are via the code called the bidding that comes next week. And soon, actually, in a few weeks' time, we do get you playing on BBO with other, uh, other members of the class. We've got two very good uh, popular sessions that we run uh, on BBO during the week where our LBO uh, members play against fellow friendly LBO members. And they've many, many of them have made good friends and even met up in person to play bridge. Okay, so one more word, I think, today. I think this is the last one. We've had dummy, which here is north. Declarer is the person who plays both hands. And here they are south. Nearly always online when I teach, in fact, always online, south will be declarer and north will be the dummy. Okay, when I teach online, that's how it always happens. In reality, it could be slightly different. You know, West might be a dummy and East might be a declarer and South would make the opening lead. But where it's laid out online, just for sake of convenience, South is declarer. They have a very important job. They play the cards from South and from North, which is dummy. OK, so and it's quite exciting being declarer. Quite responsible. OK, so there we go. Declare is a new word that we'll be becoming familiar with uh, in the next few weeks. We've still got a bit of time left, but if you remember just three things, we are going to play one more hand. Ace is four points, king three, king queen two, and jack one when you count your cards. The opening lead is from the player to the left of Declare. That gets the game going. And finally, that will always be West online, by the way, when I teach you online. Finally, a little guideline, second player plays low and third player plays high. Now, we've still got some time left, so we're going to play. Bajir, I think we've got some time left. Let's play hand three, shall we? Should we just go back to BBA? And we'll play a third hand. Just let it run for you. Lessons are normally about an hour long, by the way. Oh, hi, Robert Manners and Eleanor. Welcome to the chat box. Um, let me just do the bidding for you. Don't worry about what I'm doing now. It will be gobbledygook. But just getting the first half of the game underway. Right, so I am declarer. Sorry, we are declarer in, in four spades is what that says. Uh, so spades are trumps here. Let's get going. So opening lead has been made by West. My turn to play. So mine? How selfish of me. Our. <laughs> we have to play a heart. Well, let us play any other card, by the way, online. Third player play high. And we win with the ace of hearts. Right, so we're playing with spades as trumps. We've got to try and make as many tricks as we can. What card do you think we play next, everyone? And we have to play from south. It won't let me play from any other hand online. 
That's what another of the beauties of online bridge. Which card do you think we play from South? And South is known as declarer, by the way. Yep. We are declarer. North is dummy. So do you think we draw trumps here by playing spades or something else? Well, it's interesting. Normally we draw trumps, but here there's an absence of hearts in the dummy. It's what we call a void. So really what we can do, rather than draw the trumps is play a heart. And which card are we going to play from the dummy now? Just waiting for the chat box to catch up. If you're watching in replay, this is our third hand on BBA. So we're getting on quite nicely. So North has run out of hearts, dummy. So yes, everyone, we can. We don't have to trump it, as I think someone said earlier. We don't have to, but we can make that trick ours. Nice one. Let's come back. The lead, by the way, as you will have noticed by now, is always from the hand which wins the trick. So we won the trick in North. We have to play as North. Online, it won't let you do anything else. That's why teaching bridge online is such a bonus. What do you think we do next? We've just come back to our own hand with a king of clubs. So we're in the hand that we want to be. Which card should we play next from South, do you think, Declaro? So we're in Declara's hand. We've just played a heart. Well, do you think we might want to do this again, Jane and Sandy? They think so. Why don't we play the seven of hearts? And Trump with the eight of spades. Now, East has run out of hearts. But unfortunately for us, they don't have a higher spade than the eight. So they have to discard. They could trump it, but it wouldn't make any point under trumping it. They wouldn't win the trick. Things are going rather well. Should we come back to hand with a diamond? To the ace. And another heart. Using dummies trumps. That's what we're doing here. Avoid which is what we had in hearts, is a very useful thing in bridge. Now we can draw the trumps. With the ace. Let's say they play a club back. Not always second player play low. And here with a singleton club in our hand, the seven, it's rise to play the ace. So it's not always second player play low. Here we need to win the trick. Trump in our own hand. And yes, really, it's going to be great fun for you all to practice, well, as many of you can, to practice mini bridge and just practice clicking the cards and playing them out. Uh, we're going to draw the trumps now. Don't worry, I've been counting. There's only two left. King of diamonds. And they're all winners now. So we'll just finish off. Wow. So, amazingly, everyone, we made 12 out of 13 tricks, courtesy of using dummies trumps. So we, we had the ingredients of a really good bridge hand there. We had lots of trumps. We had nine between us. We had good trumps. King, queen, jack. 10, 9, 8. And we had high cards as well. We had the ace of hearts. Ace, king of clubs, ace, king, queen. It was a really good bridge hand we had that between north and south. So we made 12 out of 13 tricks, which was a very good way to finish on BBO Bajir. Should we just go back to the slideshow, Bajir? Just have a quick look there. Thank you. Yes, those are the three things we were remembering. That We do that at the end of every class in bridge, even for the improves into me. It's always end on three things to remember. Well, Ian, it was a joint effort, actually. It's well played, everyone. 
Right, that's the end. But it's important to practice playing bridge. So after this lesson, in the next day or two, Bajir will email you with a link to play some mini bridge, okay, on BBA. But I'm going to show you how to do it now. There we go. Oh, hang on, Bajir. Can we just go back to the slides a sec? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, so getting started on mini bridge, if you have eight cards between you and dummy, I'd advise to choose that suitor's trumps. If you only have seven cards between you and dummy, then choose to play without trumps, which is no trumps, NT. And choose one when asked about tricks and play your first card from dummy to get started. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Okay. That's the link, by the way, for you, bridgebase.com forward slash edu forward slash mini bridge. Let me show you, oops, how to do that, Bajir. So, yes, can we just go on to um, Bajir, on to the, uh, on to BBO? Let me just have a little fiddle here. So, we're going to the home table. We're going to practice. And there's mini bridge, look. That's the link, mini bridge on BBO. We even get some sound effects. I don't know if you heard those. So this is how you practice on mini bridge. Um, Bajir's just giving you the link there. Yeah, I mean, or you just Google mini bridge on BBO. You know, if you just Google it, it'll come up uh, if you don't get the exact link. Right, now let's just practice this for a few minutes. So this is what you'll be doing, hopefully. You don't have to, it's optional but sh hopefully should be fun, uh, just to play some cards out yourselves. Now, select your trump suit. Which trump suit do you think we want here? Clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, or NT? What do you think? So that's the next question. If you were, yeah, so basically we got the choice. Remember what I just said. If you've got eight or more trumps between you combined, then play in that trump suit. Clubs, diamonds, hearts, or spades. If you've only got seven trumps or less, I'd advise you to play in no trumps, NT, combined. That'd be my advice. So here, as most of you are saying in the chat box, we should play in no trumps. Yeah, because we've only got seven clubs between us and seven spades. So we'll play in no trumps. Let me see how many tricks I'm going to go for. So we're going to we click on the MT like this. And normally I'd advise you to go for one. Make it nice and easy just to try and make seven tricks. Okay. But I'm going to be a bit more ambitious here. I'm just looking at the two hands myself. Da, 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 da. I think I'm going to go for three over. Just give myself a bit of a challenge. And of course, you can as well, but I'd advise you to begin with just to build up confidence, just to go for the, the one over the six to try and make seven tricks uh, out of 13. But I'm going to be a bit more ambitious. I'm going for three. Eight. Lead is automatically made by Wes, the robot. And I'm just going to play this one out for you relatively quickly because I don't want to hang around too long. Um, but Wes has made the lead. They're the robot. We now play from dummy. It won't let us play from our own hand. Second player, play low. And we win with the queen. Okay. Good. So we've won the trick. Uh, denoted in the bottom right down here, by the way. Like that. Um, well, which suit do you think we're going to play next, everyone? We're winning in South with the Queen of Hearts. Which card should we play next, do you think, from South? Another heart? A spade? A club? Or Ace, King, or Diamonds? How are we going to try and make nine tricks out of 13? I'm giving us quite a tall order here. But I'm challenging. But you're in good hands. I have played bridge for 40 years, sometimes at a high level. I think it's best now to play on our longest and strongest suit, which is clubs. Third player, play high. And you'll be doing this yourselves shortly. Third player, play high.
Ooh, well, that's good news. I've been counting the clubs, and this is something you'll be able to do in the coming weeks and months when you start playing bridge. You know, it's like riding a bike. It's easy when you know how to, but really quite hard when you don't. Um, but these two are now winners. And the seven of clubs. So that club dude was worth an amazing five tricks to us. Right, now I'm going to play on spades. Losing to the king. I don't mind losing to the king. Um, Ace of Diamonds is a winner. King of Diamonds. Oh yes, we've made our we've made our contracts. So we're getting a round of applause. Um, I'm not actually sure. I wasn't paying that much attention about the Ace of Spades. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the. Well, let's take a gamble. We've made our contract. Yeah, the Ace of Spades was a winner, and the Ace of Hearts. I had a feeling it was. <laughs> We've won 12 tricks. Well done, everyone. It was a joint effort. It was you who suggested. And then you play another hand. Don't worry about the score. And again, this one here. We'd also play in no trumps, by the way. I don't know if we can play a hand. Uh, how do I go to deal three? Hang on, settings. There's settings as well. You don't really need settings. Uh, results. Yeah. Okay, return to game. Yeah, so it's fairly straightforward. Pretty easy to get going, really, that BB, isn't it, Bajir? Um Right, well, that's finishing on, on BBO. Um, we did make 12 tricks, we've ended on a high. Everything went nicely for us there. Uh, Bajir, are you there? He will be somewhere. I am here, Jack. Thank you so much. Uh, what fun that was. Um, I'm so impressed with... Uh, the folks who joined us today, um, you guys did incredibly, especially knowing that some of you are playing for the very first time. It was great, Bridget. Uh, yes, I mean, it, most of the questions were answered correctly, although I really don't mind at all if answers are incorrect because, you know, that's the way you learn in Bridge by your mistakes. Um, and goodness knows you and I have made enough over the years, haven't we? Oh, absolutely. Jack, one of the things that, you know, returning to lesson one, one of the things that I'm just struck by is how we have to uh, utilize a completely different strategy depending on if there's a trump suit or if there's not a trump suit. Correct. Correct. So bridge can be played with trumps or without. And that's something we're going to look at over the coming weeks, this year. the different strategies involved. The, the bidding is different. You know, the first part of the game is, is different. The play of the cards is a bit different too. So that's definitely something we'll look at uh, you know, over the coming weeks. Well, as uh, as you saw, um, Learning Bridge can be fun from the very first hand. Uh, there is a lifetime of learning. You, you'll talk to so many people. They play and keep learning for decades and decades. So there's a lifetime of enjoyment, of learning, of making friends. But especially learning from Jack, it can be fun from the very beginning. So don't feel intimidated. Even if you found today's lesson um, confusing or difficult, don't worry. Take your time. Uh, I am a very slow learner. There are many others. It can still be fun, just the process of learning. So even if you found this lesson, maybe you have some smoke coming out of your ears, I, I really encourage you stick with it. And uh, we have a fantastic lesson lined up next week, Jack. As you, as you're you, probably right uh, what you're saying, Jill. I always say at this stage, it's bound to be confusing. If you're not confused, it probably means you haven't been listening, you know. Um, but it is tricky, you know, but we do consolidate uh, and we learn in a nice uh, structured order that all the lessons go up in layers like that. We accompany each week with a worksheet, uh, normally two pages of worksheet. Practice facilities, as I said, Bajir, you know, we'll get them going soon in a few weeks' time with other members from the class on BBO. I mean, the amount of fun that people have had over the last three years since I went online, it's just been amazing. You know, there's a WhatsApp group that they all meet up and arrange to play games together. Uh, Lynn's made a very nice comment in the chat box. Thank you, Lynn. 
She, I'll just read it out. It's been saying, so it's so touching. My brother has Cambridge Blue in Bridge, but couldn't teach me. But I learned today. There it is. <laughs> How wonderful. Yeah. You know, the, you're, Lynn, you're not the first person to say that. Um, my, <laughs> I, Jack, I don't think I've even told you one of my bridge origin stories. My grandparents played bridge their entire lives. And I always heard what a rewarding and fun game it was. Um, before I knew what I was doing, I tried to kind of play. Yeah. And my grandmom came in the room and just said, that's not how you play. There are rules. <laughs> and I definitely found, you know, having a teacher yeah. to guide us gently can be more enjoyable than perhaps a uh, relative who has a little less patience. You're, you're quite right. I've heard many stories over the years, Virginia, whose, you know, children have been put off by their parents being too competitive or been kind of taught by the grandparents. But, you know, tr you know, as you know, trust me, I'll, you know, I'll always say nice things. I'll try and make it as easy as you can. But it's a, what you are saying earlier is right, Virginia. Learning bridge is a life skill. You know, the amount of people I know whose bridge is such a part of their lives, you know, oh, okay, you know, when you're younger, you don't always have time to play as much. But certainly uh, later on, um, it's great to learn now. And uh, just, you know, it's such a social thing between four people. Um, I'm just pleased that, you know, I'm able to bring this game to a wider audience now. Well, it's uh, a joy being able to learn from you every week, Jack. It uh, is something I'm so proud of that, you know, through your classes, through the site, that we have introduced the game to so many people who are still playing years later, years after they started They've made friends, they keep learning, they keep playing. So um, if uh, this is your first lesson or first lesson after a number of years, you are in the right place, you're most welcome. And um, and I'm here to help however I can. You get to learn bridge from Jack, one of the best. If I could be of any assistance as you get started, just reach out, hello at learnbridgeonline.com. I read every single email that comes through and respond to them all personally. And, um, you know, maybe you have a little more experience. I can recommend a different class. Jack teaches improver and intermediate lessons as well. And, um, uh, yeah, so maybe, maybe you're even watching this in the future. And if you'd like to join the class, you're still able to join. Just uh, reach out there. I'll uh, make sure to get you to the right place. But it's very exciting because I do love teaching beginners. I love introducing people to the game. You know, it's brilliant how I can just do it online now. And obviously, thanks to you uh, for the website. And Bashir is brilliant, by the way, looking after any te techie problems or, or any problems that you might have getting on. Uh, so next week, Bajir, yeah, same time, same place. So I'll be here uh, 9.30 on a Wednesday morning. We're going to be looking at the bidding in Bridge. So we'll be unraveling everything to do with the bidding. There you go. There's a sneak preview. Of, uh, we saw some folks asking how... Who gets to choose what the Trump suit is? So th that'll be something to look forward to. We will introduce the bidding box next week. And that's the bit that takes more time. You know, that's something we consolidate mainly uh, to begin with the bidding and getting to grips with it. The play of the cards actually is relatively easy. You know, you're just kind of following suit. Uh, but the bidding, of course, the first bit is the tricky bit. Uh, but we, as I say, we've got plenty of time on our hands. You know, we're just entering winter here. I think it's going to be a really good, you know, life skill uh, for people to learn during the winter months. Uh, make new friends, keep the brain going, and actually have a lot of fun. Well, we can't wait for the next lesson. Uh, for folks who have just joined by watching the replay, again, a worksheet for today's lesson is available. If you already registered, I already emailed it to you. If you came across this video or perhaps a friend shared it with you, um, just come to the site uh, and uh, I'll make sure that you find that. Um, and get the worksheet, as well as a link to be able to play mini bridge on bridgebase.com. I'll just put that link up real fast. This is a completely different website, but it is yes. uh, probably the most uh, popular place uh, to play bridge. I Maybe a small note, I would hesitate before playing uh, non-mini bridge yes. until yeah. you get a little bit further ahead. Oh, yes. Yes, I totally agree with you. Stick with the mini bridge. Don't go into the real bridge with bidding and other people and robots and live people. That would be a bridge too far. In time, in time. And yeah. and nicely, ni nice pun to wrap things up, uh, Jack. Uh, yes, yeah, so you say wrap things up. Actually, in 20 minutes' time, I've got the improver class, uh, which is great. So I better get uh, put a cup of tea on and get ready for that. Lynn's looking forward to the bidding. 
Um, that's when you choose Trump's basically, uh, Lynn, rather than me just randomly doing it for you. Um, so many nice comments coming through on the chat box. So thank you, everyone, uh, for your attendance. Those in replay, massive part of the class. I'd just like to say hello and goodbye to you. We'll see you next week as well. Um, so we're wrapping up, Bajir. As I say, same time, same place next week. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And yes, and hopefully as many as you can will play on the uh, the free uh, mini bridge on the link we gave you. And if they don't get the link, Bajir, just Google mini bridge on BBO and it'll come up pretty quickly. Absolutely. Well, Jack, thank you again. Uh, this, uh, as mentioned before, this is something I know we both look forward to all year, but we better let you go because as Jack mentioned, yeah. he has an improver level lesson, which he's teaching in 20 minutes. So Jack, we better let you go, refill your cup of tea and uh, <laughs> the, your improver class will be waiting for you. Thanks, Bajir. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks, Jack's mom as well for lending a helping hand. Oh, Sarah, that's very kind of you. Yes, if you enjoy videos like this too, like, uh, subscribe. We put out a lot of free bridge videos as well. Share it with your friends. Let's get more and more folks to the table. And uh, on that note, for real this time, Jack, thank you. And to everyone, especially folks who could join us live, thank you guys for being part of this. See you next week, everyone. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Bye, y'all. Bye, Jack. Bye.